Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue to read the book of Proverbs. Um, last time I, I start, uh, I finished the chapter four and I start uh, first part of chapter five. Uh, so chapter five is um, chapter four talk about the uh, wisdom is supreme, um, talking about uh, what wisdom can do can uh, help. Um, Solomon uh, said to his sons or people around him, wisdom beyond the benefit of uh, uh, moral benefit or further benefit and then supreme, that give the judgment of good and bad. And also uh, uh, chapter 5 is warning against adultery. So uh, I'm going to continue to read uh, from previous video. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Do not turn aside from what I say. Keep to a path far from her. Do not go near the door of her house, lest you give your best strength to others and your ears to one who is cruel. Lest the strangers feast on your wrath, on your wealth, and your toil enrich another man's house. At the end of your life, you will groan when your flesh and body are spent. You will say how I hated discipline, how my heart spurned correction. I would not obey my teacher or listen to my instructors. I have come to the brink of utter ruin in the midst of the whole assembly. Drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets, your streams of water in the public squares? Let them be yours alone, never to be shared with strangers. May your fountain be blessed, and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth. A loving doe, a graceful deer, may her breasts satisfy you always. May you ever be captivated by her voice. Why be captivated, my son, by an adulteress? Why embrace the bosom of another man's wife? For a man's ways are in full view of Lord, and he examines all his paths. The evil deeds of a wicked man ensnare him. The cords of his sin hold him fast. He will die for lack of discipline, led astray by his own great folly. So this is the end of chapter 5. Uh, the first paragraph of this chapter 5 talk, My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Uh, I think this wisdom is from his own experience probably solomon like david himself had so many sons and a um, couple of several wives and the internal conflicts are rising about each uh, uh, among those family among those families by different wives so that's the one of the bitterness from solomon's father and for himself from according to the history he had many wives also probably he uh, experienced the same um, bitterness um, passing by those short time of sweet. So this is the wisdom from him. So he, the first paragraph, he said, uh, uh, For the lips of adultery drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil, but in the end she's bitter as gall, sharp as a double-edged sword. So it means very, um, the situation is quite dangerous, quite uh, cause a lot of problems after those uh, period of honey um, passed. Um, so many wives and so many families they are against each other i think um now that my son listen to me do not turn aside from what i say keep to a path far from her uh, do not go near the door of her house let you lest you give your best strength to others and your years to one who is cruel lest the strangers feast on your wealth and your toil enrich another man's house at the end of your life, you will groan when your flesh and body are spent. You will say how I hated the discipline, how my heart spurned the correction. I would not obey my teachers or listen to my instructors. I have come to the brink of utter ruin in the midst of a whole assembly. So this is uh, um, this uh, Solomon said, um, if you uh, listen, fall into the trap of those adulteries or means I think somebody else's wife, somebody else's wife, and then you just feed, uh, unless if you do this, it's like you're feeding the other, uh, sharing your wealth, sharing your uh, table with others, and eventually be uh, uh, dismay and 
uh, regret. Um, so this is about uh, um, the, the second paragraph of this chapter. I drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well, or should your springs overflow in the street, you stream of water in the public squares. Let them be yours alone, never be shared with strangers. May your fountain be blessed, and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth. So this is saying that um, some things can be shared. We always talk about the share and to um, share with others to show your care. But here it said, do not share anything with any strangers. Um, and may your fountain be um, blessed, and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth. It's the, I think this youth remain, uh, means to the young marriage, the first marriage. Um, and talk about drinking water from your own system and running water from your own well means uh, do not uh, be too greedy, look upon the others. So that's uh, nothing comes from nothing. That's probably one of the dangerous signs to pay the price, to fall into the adultery's uh, feet. According to this, that's probably. And also, um, let them be your, yours alone, never to share with the strangers, if you have, and do not share with the strangers. Uh, of course, the strangers means uh, do not, uh, um, I think, not include those fellowship, uh, friendship, but um, being a friend with a stranger, it's a, a stranger can be a friend, so you really it's about the wisdom will give you the judgment. Who is a uh, lifelong uh, friend, but it's a stranger. Who is the stranger, but uh, uh, be uh, becomes a, uh, a really uh, shoulder to shoulder to to be with you all the time. So this is the talk about the wisdom can tell you which drink, which water, uh, whose water you can drink, whose table you can share. Probably that's what uh, it refers to. A loving doe, a graceful deer, may her breast satisfy you always, may you ever be captivated by her love. So this is saying um, the marriage, the vows, the first, uh, um, when you were young, the first the vows really uh, means um, enough for you. Uh, this also involved in the wisdom to choose the right person to, to make the vows and to marry and also to go together. Um, why be captivated, my son, by an adulteress? Why embrace the bosom of another man's wife? This is saying that um, something belongs to the others. So do not uh, stay away from those. I think that's the wisdom call. Um, for a man's way are in full view of Lord, and he examines all his path. The evil deeds of a wicked man ensnare him. The cause of his sin hold him fast. He will die for lack of discipline led astray by his own great folly. I think this refers to the the situation of the worst, but uh, I think this is the uh, the old principles. Uh, with time, everything changed. And nowadays, I saw a lot of people married several times, still living a good life. It just depends on the, the situation, depends on the circumstances. And the most important thing is the wisely judgment, uh, judge with wisdom. wisdom. If you think uh, uh, multiple marriage is good for you, then you go for it. Just uh, do not let the wisdom leave you. Uh, bind them around your neck and keep them uh, written down on your heart, a tablet of your heart. So that's the purpose for the wisdom. Uh, I'm going to stop here today and um, continue next time. Thank you for watching. And uh, by the way, I hope that you can read and interpret in your own way. I'll see you next time.